Hi, my name is Shaquette and I'm from the product team. Simplify users can create custom integrations inside the Simplify IDE with the same structure as Simplify commercial integrations. The custom integrations will appear in the marketplace and can be configured for different environments so they can be used in playbooks, manual actions, and remote agents. They can also be imported and exported as with other IDE items. In this how-to, we will build a custom integration for the Whois XML API product. We will start off by creating your first integration, including the integration settings, creation of the actions, and testing the integration. The first step of creating your first integration would be to access the IDE screen and click on the plus icon to add a new IDE item. Select the integration radio button and give the integration a name. In order to define the integration settings, click on the gear icon where you can define the integration description, icon, Python dependencies, and integration parameters. The integration parameters are needed to connect with the product you have chosen. In this example, I added the API key, which the Whois XML API product requires for the configuration of the integration. In addition, you will see that we chose to run the integration on Python 3.7. You can customize this by clicking on the drop-down and selecting to run an integration on Python 2.7. Click on Save to save the integration settings. Once you create the integration, you can view it in your Simplify Marketplace. Next, select the gear icon to open up the Configure Default Instance screen. Fill in the API key from the Whois XML website and paste it in the API key field. You can configure the integration to a different instance by clicking on the Configure tab. Click on the Save and then on the Test. The test will fail as we have not implemented a ping action in the integration yet. This will be the first action we create. Navigate to the IDE and click on Add New Item. Choose the Action Radio button and provide the action a name. Choose the integration that the action will be part of. A new action template has been created that has some very useful code comments and explanations. We will copy the ping action from the How to Develop My First Integration Guide and paste it. As you can see in the code, the ping action uses the API key parameter we configured for the integration and places that API key in the URL provided by the product for testing purposes. Navigate back to the marketplace to test the connectivity. Click on the configure icon and then click on test. The connection is now successful as it presents a green V. Now let's create your first custom action. The action we will create is get domain details action that will run on URLs and present a JSON result extracted from the Whois XML product. Now let's create a new action item in the ID. We will copy the get domain details action from the how to develop my first integration guide. We will then paste it and save. In order to configure the relevant parameters for this action, review the input parameters in the Whois XML API documentation. For the get domain details, we will need to configure two parameters for the action, check availability and domain name. To create an action parameter, click on the plus icon and fill in the fields. The first one is check availability. This parameter indicates if the domain is available or not, and the result will be used in the automation we create later on. The type is Boolean, as it has two optional results, false and true. Click on save and create the second parameter for the domain name. This parameter will be a string type parameter as presented here. Let's go through the code. There are two things that must happen in a simplify action. Firstly, an object must be initiated from the Simplify Action class that extracts the Simplify SDK. The second is that the object must utilize the class's end method to return an output message and a result value. 
As you can see in the code from line 17 to 24, we use the simplify extract configuration param function, which extracts the parameters configured for the integration, which is the API key, and simplify extract action param function, which extracts each of the parameters we configured for the action, domain name, and check availability. Now we will build the URL according to the domain name we're scanning and the Boolean availability check. Once the URL is ready, we will create a request to the Whois site, parse the answer, and we'll add it to the result of the action. We then add a JSON result and define the output message that will be presented in the action result. As we are using a JSON result in our action, we will also add a JSON example that will be utilized in the Playbook Designer when creating a playbook with the action you created. Enable the toggle in the Details tab in the IDE that will enable the JSON icon in the top part of the IDE. Click on the JSON icon and import the JSON. This example can be found in the Whois website or in the How to Develop Your First Integration Guide. Make sure you save your action. Now let's test the action. Click on the Testing tab and choose the scope. I chose all URLs. For the test case field, make sure that you have a test case available in your platform. If the dropdown is empty, navigate to the Cases screen, choose a case, and click on Simulate Alert. A test case will be presented in the case queue. Now, we will fill in the rest of the fields and click on the play icon to run the test. The results of our test will be presented under the results section where we can see the JSON result extracted from the Whois product. You can also view the debug output once the test has been completed by navigating to the debug output tab. Please note that the debug shows prints and logs. Congratulations! You have successfully created your first action in your integration. To use this action in your playbooks, make sure that you enable the toggle in the top part of the action and save. If you would like to learn more on how to create an enrichment action that will be part of this integration, we would recommend you to access the How to Develop Your First Action Guide in the documentation. In addition, you can access the How to Create Your First Automation in the documentation to learn how to create a playbook using the actions you created in integration.